What's up legends, LGG Alden here, so I'm back with episode 12 of my Game Maker Studios game developing tutorials. Last time we worked on randomizing the enemies and having it so they have a chance of dropping items and all that, so kind of working on that a little bit. But this time what I wanted to work on was, is like fixing up some of the variables, maybe changing some stuff to global, making it so we can call to things easier and have a lot easier setup and changing things so it's not all like just different calling to objects and all that and having to do all that make more global variables and things and also I feel like what this wouldn't take long enough so it might not be that long to do what I'm thinking of so I might as well add I figured I'd add a couple more weapons so I have like a little sprite for a sniper uh, what else there's the laser gun and there's an SMG so, you know, three different types of weapons instead of the original three that we have. So, you know, give a little more weapon diversity. Okay, so what I think I want to do is at the beginning of the game. So we'll do it at like a menu. We're going to create an object. So like this could almost be just this episode is better for organization. So object, we can call it game setup. So this doesn't, you don't need depth or anything, doesn't matter. Create event. Okay, so at the create event, we'll add a script. And what it's going to create is some variables. It's going to create, we're going to do a couple of them. We'll do global dot uh, p speed, And it'll be equal to 5. So it'll be like these ones, global dot p damage equals one whoops global dot p ammo equals 10 oh, I think I keep doing that um okay so yeah basically we're gonna make global variables of a lot of this stuff global dot p health equals actually we could start at a hundred because that's technically what we want the default okay so and then we need a call to these. So we need to do speed is equal to global dot p speed. And same thing with all of these. So then it's almost it'll make it a little more organized. So we can change this all from one area instead of and we'll also we're also gonna change some stuff up in like the enemies and other things like that. Make it work a little bit better. Maybe something around the lines of that. So Okay, so then we're going to do global dot p weapon equals zero global dot p fire rate equal um, equals eight and the other two don't matter. Okay, so there we go. So we have the fire rate, everything. We can switch out these ones. So, whoops global dot p weapon and global dot p fire rate there we go we're good okay and then what else do we need to create so all of that should work fine now we might have to go into here and change stuff okay so speed actually no we might not have to because it should already be just set up instantly yeah, because technically it takes it from there. Okay, so yeah, that's fine. That'll work good. Um, we might need to... Okay, yeah, so we're going to have to switch up some of the code in these guns. So instead of calling it to here, we'll do global dot... Yeah, so we can just do... We'll change it to the actual global variables. It'll work a little better. There we go. And then we need to do that for all three of the guns. This will just make it a little bit easier on um, for setting up stuff. And like then we can change it, like I said. It'll make changing things. So if we want to say, oh, okay, I decided I wanted to change the weapon the player started with. Instead of having to go to the player, there's just going to be a setup. So it'll all be set up from like... And we'll just set it in the main menu or whatever the menu screen so then it'll just load it okay one more gun let's see mm -hmm. yeah and then we'll have to test it just to make sure everything still works 
which I don't see why it wouldn't. There shouldn't be anything complicated with this. Just a bunch of changing some variables and whatnot. Okay, I believe, do we have to go into here? Global.ammo, that's already a thing. Okay, so instead of having it in the GUI, so we can delete this technically. Yeah, okay, that works fine. Global.ammo. So that's just created in there now. Enemy, do we, can we change? Uh, you know what? We probably won't make global variables because they're all customized now. It's all randomized for it. Um, bullets. OBJ. Okay, so this is where we can make this easier. Global.pspeed. No. Okay. Probably have to do the same thing in these. Yeah. Global dot p speed. And then making these guns, the new three different guns, should be pretty simple. I think at least. We'll try it out, see what happens. I don't know. I might need to make a new I'm probably gonna make a new bullet type though for the uh laser one. We'll make it like a different color, maybe like a bright blue, bright green, I don't know. Some sort of nice looking bright color. Is this one? Yeah, we could change this. Global dot p health. Enemy no. Step event. Oh, here we go. We can change it in here. We can also do health, or should we do? Mm, I feel like doing global dot p health. So we can call to it from other areas. I think we might have to go into the GUI and change some stuff. Let's try that out, see if Yeah, we're gonna have to change stuff. Um Global dot P health. Oh, it's over here too. Global dot P health. It's PR ammo, global ammo. OBJ player. Okay, so here's global dot P ammo. Oh, we do it three times. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? Oh, we can change this to global dot p weapon. Here we go. And then one last one. I think that should be actually all we need. At least from what I know of. SPR shoot do 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 let's see. Anything else I would possibly need? I don't think so. Okay. So just we're gonna test this out first. Actually another thing I wanna do before we even do that, let's group some stuff. So we'll make a group. One of the groups will be guns. So pistol. So we'll put all the we'll drag them all into here. Yeah, if we drag all the guns into here then, let's try to rearrange it in the order I had. I think that's it. No, this a sniper. Yeah, sniper. No, laser gun came first, I think. Yeah, okay. And then we'll do another group. Pickups. And put the ammo and the med kit in there. Create group bullets because we're going to have different types of bullets there we go we'll also create a group menu this is where we'll just have this stuff that goes in the menu um eventually maybe we can make more enemies that'd be kind of cool player probably you know, we'll just create a group player just in case I don't know that's kind of a lot of groups we have here. And then we could also do one for walls. Eventually we could make more walls because, you know, you, all you got to do is just change the sprite. There we go. And then we'll do the same thing for this, except we'll probably, let's see, guns. So put the pistol. 
shotgun, the assault rifle, create group, pickups, ammo, and medkit. Create group. What was next? Bullets. Oh, see, this will come in handy because we already have three bullets in here. So then organize works for that. Yeah, this will come in handy. It's just, it's always good to be organized, especially when it comes to like game development because not being organized could sometimes really mess you up. Okay, so this one will also put the game setup in the menu because that's technically where we'll call to it from. Create group enemies put the there we go create group player yeah okay put that in there and then we might actually do an one extra group for this one which we'll call GUI because we might make more GUI objects later we could, we could do a lot with GUI Okay, so now that we kind of have that situated, we don't need to look at that. Menu, not really. Enemies, players, walls. There we go. All we need is the bullets and that to kind of look at pickups. We're not going to be looking at enemy, player, walls, or GUI. Okay, so in the menu, we're going to have to throw the object. Which one? Okay, right here. See, then it's easier to find your stuff. It's more organized, too. Okay, so we'll try this. Let's make sure that this runs works fine. And then if that works fine, we'll add the new guns. We'll just, we'll just work on them. Um, okay, so you can shoot. Except the ammo doesn't go down. Yep, that's probably a problem. Let's go into the player. I probably must change it in here. Yep, that makes sense. Uh, can fire... Okay, so here's where we need to change it. Global dot P ammo. Oh wait, that that one doesn't matter. Um, global dot P weapon. Oh wait, we still don't need that actually. Where do we need to change? Let's see. Technically, we should change this one to global dot P ammo. Because I think that's, I don't know. Let's just try it, see what happens. Yeah, because I think it's, there we go, yeah. Oh, you can go into negatives now. Whoops. Okay, so global dot P ammo greater than zero. Step event. Global dot ammo. Global dot p ammo. Global dot p ammo. Everything else should be fine. Yeah. Okay. Let's try it. I guess there was just something with that. Play. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so you can't go lower, but you can reload. You can also get hurt. You can get those, that, switch the guns. You can, yep. Okay, okay, so it should, oh, the shotgun doesn't work. Let's see, what should we do to fix that? Left pressed, if weapon equals one, is it do we need to change that to global dot p weapon maybe that could probably be the problem let's try it make sure that that works that works yep okay so we're good guys so that seems to work out I think, at least. Maybe we should change what up health. Yes. 
except we might need to do yeah I think most of these normal variables need to be changed if anything goes wrong like if you guys encounter something that shouldn't happen like you notice something in here I don't know if like speed might affect it let's change that actually just quickly we'll s we can copy paste that too global dot p speed right yeah that's good yeah I'm gonna ch I'm gonna copy paste this and paste it in all of these just to be on the safe side because it seems to be like you know it doesn't run the create event multiple times so technically it could glitch out okay so that's fine so that should all work I want to center this a little more that kind of bugs me okay now we're gonna create the gun so another thing we're gonna do is we'll just duplicate can't oh wait whoops duplicate SPR underscore uh, we'll call it laser bullet edit go into here I'm thinking a solid light blue like that that'll work fine that'll count as the laser shot technically okay so now we need to copy some of these guns duplicate obj underscore laser gun um, it'll be in guns laser gun so change that so that changes that to three damage ooh let's make the laser gun a little more powerful let's make it a solid four a little more powerful I think that might be the same as the shotgun fire rate needs to be very quick so we'll just have it at zero I don't care the we'll make the laser gun just like an OP weapon here make it five damage instead yeah that should work um okay duplicate oh wait yeah okay duplicate this obj underscore sniper okay change the sprite to a sniper and then weapon is four damage we'll do damage of ten or no eight eight will eight will be fine fire rate okay so what's the shotguns fire rate I think it might be 20 fire rate okay so we'll go even slower than the shotgun is so we'll go like 30 maybe we can almost go slower if we wanted to um, duplicate obj underscore smg change the sprite to an smg so yeah this it's not really hard to add more weapons just you guys just gotta I don't know Damage will be two, fire rate be a one. Okay, so that works. Um, let's see. Now we gotta go create a bullet. Let's duplicate this one. Mm, oh wait, we can change the sprite to the laser bullet. OBJ underscore laser bullet. There we go. You know, maybe we almost could have done the or, or the, the organization organizing stuff in a separate episode besides this and do this separate, but it doesn't really matter. It's fine. Um, yeah, I think we're okay here. Let's see. We got to go into the player, I think. Yeah, global left pressed. So now we need to create a little couple more of these. So we could just do a default one, right? Yeah. So this is the laser. So this one needs to be laser bullet. And this is if weapon is equal to three. Can fire is false. PM. Oh, yeah. Okay, that works fine. Um, weapon equals to four. So that's the sniper. Sniper works fine. Ammo minus one and then five this is the SMG okay so that's that all works good there's nothing special fancy to all these and then ooh, I don't know I wonder if we might have to actually go into the enemy yeah duplicate event collision but this time with a laser bullet same thing health minus obj player damage actually that that needs to go to global dot p damage 
that's a little important right there help out to have that global dot p damage yeah okay two more yeah I think we'll be fine after this and then I don't I don't know I think we might have to change the GUI stuff so that it works perfectly for each gun GUI okay draw it so these are all the guns right here so oh wait okay so the laser gun sprite is the same as the assault rifle so we'll just change this though laser gun um, P ammo yeah that's fine the next one is the sniper ooh this one's longer though okay so let's see so what's the difference the laser gun is 16 for the middle this one is 24 so this one's if anything 16 that's 8 that's an 8 difference so XY's needs to be added 8 maybe to both of them I don't I don't know 8 to this 8 to that let's see okay so we can add 8 to this which would make it 56 and then almost add 16 I think to this yeah 16 so that'd be 96 plus 6 so that's 96 plus 6 102 that should work okay and then the SMG is the same as the pistol so we just gotta do this one else and then if weapon oh I should change those numbers so it's three four five this one needs to be SMG yeah okay I think that actually will work fine okay so now we can go into the test room and we can put our three new guns in there laser gun right there sniper over here yeah I think eventually in an upcoming episode we're gonna have to expand this area this little this room because it's getting a little compact here okay so let's run it hopefully this works can't guarantee it if it does that's great then we don't have to do a lot of troubleshooting okay so here's the laser gun so that shoots really quick and it's kind of OP um, here's the SMG SMG shoots kinda quick the way it should oh I need to work on the uh, drop rates then and then the sniper should be like a two shot kill why does a sniper shoot so fast? Did I just pick up a different gun? Wait, maybe I didn't switch the um, the actual gun for the sniper. Hmm, I think I did though. Damage for. Hmm. Hmm. GUI draw. Oh, that's why. Sniper. Yeah, is that that's fine, right? Yeah. Sniper and then I don't know if it didn't change this. What it did here. Weapon is equal to four. What about this one? Three. Hmm. Now let's just try it, see if that fixed it. Okay, go straight to the sniper. No, it's it's the right stuff because you could technically spam fire. I should really slow those rates down actually. Let's go into the shotgun and we'll make the fire rate 50 and a sniper needs to be even slower than that. Sniper can be the rate of like 80. Yeah, I think that that should be normal about it, something like that play okay so the shotgun still can fire pretty quick I don't know if the timing is still weird or what what about sniper hmm I don't know I don't know if changing that speed actually did anything P 
fire rate. Maybe we need to go into the player and change something in the step event. Let's try it. Global dot p fire rate. That could be the problem. I think that was actually so. Yes, yeah, so these might be really really slow now. I might need to switch that because they all might might be the same thing as the uh, pistol was now. Yeah, now you can fire even faster with that. Oh god, yeah, no, okay, so, that means the sniper's even, okay, so the sniper should be, should be 50, that's what I'm thinking, 50 for the sniper, the shotgun can go down to like 30, let's, let's try that, let's make sure that that works good, other than that, I think every other gun seemed to work fine, yeah, the laser gun works really quick, shotgun, oh, load yeah that's fine oh I just clicked out of it okay and then I think I'm stuck in a corner no I'm not and then the last one is the sniper we'll try that out so one shot another shot except it's way powerful okay so that's fine and then the last thing we need to do in this episode sorry if this is getting really long guys I just I want to do this um so 100% chance. So we should add the chances for these. Hold up, go like that. So three more guns, OBJ, laser gun, OBJ, two, 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 sniper, and SMG. And if you guys want more weapons or like request any weapons comment that because i'll try to add i mean i could add a ton of weapons to this game who cares like we could go into machine guns we could go into melee we oh that's actually a good idea melee weapons we'll probably do that in a different episode just to have it we need to lower some drop rates then because now that there's getting more guns here okay so pistol can be okay let's see let's go Let's do a 3% drop rate for guns. So we'll do 41 to 43. 41, 42, 43. Yeah. And then we'll do 50, 53 to 55. 77. 79 and I'm just coming up with random numbers here to be honest at this point 91 to 93 86 to 88 the 60 60s and everyone in the 60s so 60 3 to 65 okay so now it should all be random. None of these should be repeated. It goes into like all that. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, so now there's a chance you can get all those. So I think that's where I'm going to end it here, guys. Sorry if this one was a little longer. Like I said, I probably could have done two separate episodes of organization and, or organizing whatever and doing the guns. But either way, at least we got all that out of the way and it's working good. And we got new guns. We have six guns now instead of three. Makes a little more diversity. couple stuff to probably be looking forward to that I will be doing is, one, expanding rooms, making it so the camera moves and everything. Having, um, I don't know, probably some stuff with, like, more rapid-fire guns. I don't know. We'll see. Definitely improving some stuff. Like I said, I could add more enemies, maybe make more player models, add more wall. Probably the same episode that I do camera movements, I'll probably do more wall types and floor types and all that, and we'll get into that. But uh, if you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button. And I can't believe I'm already at episode 12. Hopefully, I this is already looking like it's kind of a good game. Hopefully you guys are liking this so far. I, I don't know if any of you are following along i would imagine you are if you're watching it but yeah so thanks for watching guys have anything that goes wrong with your game make sure to comment that and i'll help you fix it and uh yeah look forward to the next one guys and i'll see you guys next time
this time I decided, or well, last time I did this.